Hey guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create the radio button with the checked and unchecked functionality in React Native. So let's get started. And first of all, we are going to see uh, how it will look like in the final code. After the final code, you can see that we have the three um, radio buttons. And I'm whenever I'm going to click on first, and it will show the computer and I'm going to click on third then it will show the it will check the third one with the mobile okay so now we I'm going to clean this code and write it again uh, for step by step so I'm going to clean my mm -mm, extra CSS which which we need inside the checkboxes and after that I'm going to clean my functions and I'm going to clean my constructor alright guys so now you are able to see that this is a blank screen here yeah, nothing is here uh, just uh, accept you can avoid this <laughs> notification because I am trying some experiment with that and after that I just remind that I have to make I have to make a video on the checkboxes or uh, and the radio button so just okay so come back to the topic uh, first of all I need a constructor and here I will define a state so first of all I need a super function okay so I'm um, now I'm going to define some state this dot state and my state name is data and here I'm going to pass my array and the three component first one is the computer second one is uh, 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 second one is laptop and third one is you can ignore this file this is not usable for now you can ignore this also and you can ignore this also so now uh, the third product is mobile that's fine so now I have to define one more state which is the active or let's make it checked and here I'm going to define by default zero let's the zeroth index will be checked by default so now just create uh, a map function uh, map function is just like a for loop and if you don't know about that you can watch our previous tutorial and this is a very simple you can understand from here also this dot state dot data and this is a this state data state and for use the map you can just use dot map function and with that I'm going to define the data as an arrow function and use just return and here I'm going to write my code and first of all just take a text box here to see that is the every product is uh, every product is showing or not So just just check it out here. You we can see that the, all of them are showing here. Now just uh, we need mm, two cases, one for checked and another for unchecked. So I'm going to check here if okay. I'm going to check here uh, this dot state dot checked equal equal to key that means if the state data 
is checked with the key match with the key and if you don't know what is the key the key is the unique index of this array in the map function like we can for an example we can take that i in the for loop if we are going to start the for loop from the i the i equal to i starting from the zero and go to the uh, n number then i is always a unique just like that key is always be unique that's fine so i don't need this one no actually i need this so now i'm going to check there if this is true then what happened then i need a touchable opacity i'm going to copy from here that's fine and take it text here fine and with the text i need an image okay uh, 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 uh. i need this one this image for now i'm going to take the direct url from the web to reduce the work time and I'm going to add the source here you are I which is the this image fine guys and here I have to show my text uh, which is the I can show the data here. And just copy from here and paste it in the else condition. And you f I have to change just image URL. Which is there. That's fine now just check out okay so is there any error we cannot find the variable key so i have to pass the key here also actually forward that now everything is fine yes everything is fine okay i have to add some style with the image so i'm going to add some style styles dot img so both image images need the same style and the style should be here so what we have to do with that we have to use two styles for for mm, height Take twenty and width. We can also take it twenty. That's fine. Now just checked out here. So you can see that is it working? Is it not working? But it's something look like that it's good so just add some more style with that so i'm going to add the style with the opacity touchable opacity which is the let's add some style so take a name like btn i'm always refer to take the small names with the understanding meaningful for so I need to use the 
flex direction which is it should be row and I have to use the atom align it's item line or align items I think it's align item line items again that's fine uh, sometime I'm gonna confuse with this style so it, sh it should be center I hope everything everything should be fine for now okay so I have to add the same style with the else condition but okay just check just take some gap from right side I'm going to use the padding mm -mm. no we have to use the margin form the button and here we can use around 50 there's a margin left okay so we have to use here a numeric value not a string and we can take some more margin right with the image to give the some space between image and the text that's fine so now just we have to add the some functionality with this button so for that I have to use a function whenever it will going it will click on the Touchable opacity I need to change the state so on press I'm going to use the update function within the arrow function so use this dot set state and here we can add mm, checked and here we can put like key that's it so now it should be work just click on that oops we are not able to find okay that's my bad So you can see that we are able to achieve this with the state and if you like to add some more style then I can use the margin bottom and use just 10 pixels it should be look more good. I hope yes so now it's looking better so thanks guys thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any other query like this query is coming from uh, my uh, my channel viewer and if you also have some queries then you can comment you can put it on the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and give a thumbs up if you like this video and if you need this code then you can uh, get it from our facebook page 